What's up everyone? Just a Thursday night update on the microgreens. They have been growing, when do we plant them? Wednesday night? So they've been growing for about seven days. As you can see, they're looking really good. That was the um, Mizuna. This one was the spicy mix, which has mustards and stuff like that in it. And this one was your basic salad mix. Looking good. I've been just adding water to the tray under here, watering them like that, and no kind of mold, no kind of issues at all with dampening off or nothing. So the one thing I do have to fix is my inconsistency of sewing, because right there there's a big old patch. So I got to get, I, I want to start measuring my seeds and actually having a, a set. This is how much I use. So, but all in all, I like the underwater feeding with this tray. It's working out great, looking good. We're going to harvest them this weekend. So anyway, just a quick update on the microgreens. I will see you in this video when I'm not working, Saturday probably, or Sunday. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rivera Urban Homestead. We were going to start out in the garden this morning, um, but when I woke up, it's cloudy out, it's raining, so we can't start in the garden. So what we'll do first is we will look at the indoor garden. I have some microgreens here that we started uh, last Wednesday. I should have harvested them probably Friday or Saturday, but it's Sunday and we're harvesting them today. So we're going to harvest these guys and then we're going to plant three more trays. The problem with these is that the density is not correct. So I just eyed it and kind of put them in, remember? So this time we're going to do an experiment. We're going to use the uh, basic salad mix seeds. We're going to get three trays set up and we're going to do different amounts. We're going to actually measure maybe one with a teaspoon of seeds, one with two teaspoons, the other one with three teaspoons. We'll grow them and we'll see what that density needs to be to have a perfect tray of microgreens. So anyway, let me show you what they look like right now. All right, so as you can see, they all grew really nice. Some of them just have some bare spots in them. Um, that third one over there is pretty full right there. So I do like the density. I just want to make it more consistent. So that's why I want to start measuring. That way I have a reference to go off of. And I tell you what, the underwatering system I'm using with this uh, pet carrier tray underneath worked out really good. Very simple to use. So anyway, let's get to harvesting these so we can set up three more trays. But first I'm going to make little Tyler some French toast. Little huh? scrambled eggs, little sugar, little cinnamon in the egg batter. Yeah, little Yeah, little cinnamon. Okay, so here's my setup. I got my coffee, I got a tray of microgreens, and I got a big old Halloween bowl. So now I'm just going to take my scissors and get to cutting. A lot of people use a very sharp knife. I just haven't got one yet, so I'll use my scissors. Okay guys, so we harvested that tray. This will go right into the chicken run and the chickens can peck at it, eat the roots and whatever else is left. And we got, oh, it's kind of hard to see under this light, but we got quite a bit already in here. So let's do the next one. Alright. Hello ladies. Alright, so there we go. I dumped all three trays right there. Once the chickens discover that, they'll be having some fun today. Okay, so this is a pretty big bowl, guys. So, three trays worth. I'm just going to mix it all together. All the different flavors of the spicy salad mix, the basic salad mix, and then that Mizuna one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this all the way up with water and just kind of give it a nice little bath 
just to rinse it off in case there's any dirt or any seed pods or seed hulls left on it. Shouldn't be that many. All right, so now with the bowl full of water, everything's floating on top, so I'm just gonna, that's it. Just give it a nice little massage, rinse it off. And you can see at the edge, those are all the seed hulls coming off. Let me see if I can zoom in a little closer. See them all right there at the edge? Those are all the seed holes. So when you get this all nice and pushed so yeah, in. there are the seed holes. So what I'll do is I'll go and I'll push this down and pour the water out and let all those floating hulls get out of there. What is that? Come over here so they could see you. What is it? Uh, look in the screen. You could see yourself. Look over here. Look. Um, they're plants. Are they microgreens? Yes. Are they yummy? Yes. Eat a little. I just washed it. I'm going to try this. Let's one. try. Mmm. I'm going to keep this many. Eat them up. Mmm, they taste like salad. <laughs> Is that good? All right. <laughs> so you got to stay where you are. Oh, the stems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, They're the stems white. were white. Yeah, and you can eat the stems. Yeah. How did they taste? Good. Yeah. And do you know what? What? Football's um, not coming on now. Football? Oh, rub it in. Football's not coming on now. No. Now another game's coming on. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that you do this. Oh, boxing? Yeah, boxing. Last night we watched fights, UFC. Yeah, but the fight is on now, not football. All right, well, I got to get back to the microgreens. We got to put them in the salad spinner and dry them off now. And now I'm going to put the microgreens in the spinner. I can spin really fast. Yeah, like this. Hold on. You're in the salad spinner. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, after I rinse them off, just grab a handful, put them in the salad spinner. Get them all spun out of all the excess water. Look at that. That's it, they're dry, ready to be packaged. All right, and I'm going to individually wrap some of these in these Ziploc sandwich bags to give to a few people. Let them try them out. So you just kind of want to... Package them in. That's it. Leave a little air in there for them. Bam. There's your baggie of microgreens. And obviously this is small scale production. If I was to get a little bit bigger, we'd have to do some implementing of some bigger tools. All right guys, so we got four bags of microgreens out of those three trays. If you go to a health store or something, I bet this much will cost you about seven bucks. So you figure $28 right here in some little basic salad mix seeds. So let's just measure them and see how much they are. Okay, so the first one measured in at two ounces on the money. So you get those little two ounce clamshell containers at the grocery store with microgreens in it, you're definitely looking at five to seven bucks. That one's 2.1. So you figure we have two ounces a bag. Two and a half. And 2.2. Cool. So right there is about 20 to 28 dollars in, in uh, retail. Alright, so I had to mix up another batch of growing median for the microgreens. So I went to Lowe's guys and I got the Jiffy Natural and Organic Seed Starting Mix. Got two bags of that, one bag of vermiculite, and of course I put some kelp meal in there. So that gave me this tub 
full. I just got to mix it all together and it's just going to be real nice and fine and soft. But I need to find a soil so source. Yeah, soil so soil source. Soil source. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, I need to find a soil source because this is impractical. These are like $5 a bag, so $15 for that little tote. I don't think that would work if I wanted to start expanding my microgreens. So I know online there's a few different places you could buy the big compressed bales of seed starting mix, and they're like 50 bucks a bale. But I think that would be more practical than 15 bucks for this little bit. Anyway, I'm going to mix these all together and plant out the three trays. And we're going to, again, we are going to seed them measuring this time one teaspoon two teaspoons three teaspoons of seeds and we'll see which one has the right density when they're ready Okay, so I got the soil in, I watered it, it's all nice and damp. Now let's try and measure out the basic salad mix. I got one teaspoon thing here. I don't think one teaspoon will be enough to go in one tray and that be it. So let's just do one teaspoon and see. There's no way. Okay, definitely not one teaspoon. So this one, let's do two teaspoons in this one. This one we'll do three teaspoons. Two teaspoons, three teaspoons, and I think four is going to be well too much. One. Kind of press them down a little. Spray them for a little bit of soil contact with moisture. Put the blackout domes on it. And we'll add the whiteboard to totally keep out all of the light. Okay, so some key points that I've learned from the other three trays we just harvested was the underwatering with this tray is working out great. You don't have mold collecting because you're spraying them from the top. They don't fall down on each other because you're spraying them from above. So I really like the underwatering. Pour some water in there, let it soak up, and it's done. Now these three, we have different densities. We'll check which one works best. We'll write that down. And whenever we get new seeds, that's how we need to approach it. I think three trays, different densities, see which one works, write it down. That way we don't have to think about it anymore. So there you go. We harvested microgreens. We planted some new ones with different densities. And it looks like the rain is stopping. So my next video might be this afternoon, me out in the garden. I want to thin some carrots, I want to get some beets, and then maybe we'll do a little roasted beets and carrots. That sounds good. So, for now, have a good morning, and we might talk to you a little later.